my tolerance for atheism uh, has has really dwindled to nothing at this point. Because and, and my, my tolerance for people who are agnostic or aren't really sure. I or totally seeking, agree with this. Yes. But the idea that there are people who are completely certain as a matter of religious faith that there's no God, I just find it hilarious and like so childish. It's, I just can't take it seriously. Yes, he finds their beliefs to be childish. Okay, the, the religious beliefs of Republican lawmakers who interpret the various translation of the Bible to agree with exactly what they already believe uh, about the world, that's not childish. That's that's the highest order of philosophical thinking or whatever. Um, but people who don't believe in his particular God, they're being childish. Uh, look, I, I don't know a lot of atheists that would say that they're 100% sure that something doesn't exist because um, I'm gonna break it to you, that's not how belief works. You can never be 100% sure that something doesn't exist. You would have to exist at all points across the universe simultaneously to be sure. But thankfully, that's not how belief works. No offense to religious people, but um, I don't believe that unicorns exist. And not because I'm sure that they don't, I just require actual evidence before I go about believing in it. That evidence could be presented. Animals like unicorns exist, I await the evidence. I'd be very excited to, to see it. But what Tucker Carlson is doing there, aside from the classic projection of uh, taking what atheists are doing and saying that they're the ones with the religion, which is a weird way to approach something that's supposed to be sacred to you, um, is pretending that he doesn't understand how not believing in something uh, works. I, I forget exactly who it was that originally said this. It might've been like Thomas Jefferson, but I believe, um, I'm gonna say maybe Ricky Gervais has said this recently. Someone can correct me. Uh, if he wants to understand why an atheist would find his belief in this particular evangelical right wing God to be unconvincing, all he needs to do is think about why he doesn't believe in the Muslim conception of God or various Hindu gods or other forms of Christianity. He doesn't believe in it. He doesn't need to be 100% sure that it's not true to not go to mosque or to temple. He just doesn't find it to be convincing. I find that of his beliefs. And he believes it about basically every religion that exists other than the one that he currently holds. And yet he pretends that he doesn't understand how someone could not believe in a religion. Ugh. Anyway, I, I, I wanted to limit JR <laughs> us to about 10 seconds of him. And even in that, I found it to be infuriating as well as just presenting it as his tolerance of atheism is down to zero. Oh, I'm very worried that you're not tolerant of me anymore. Anyway, you see, you uh, this is the thing, John. First off, you made too many good points, so I'm gonna come with the last few that I had Sorry. left. Uh, no, it's, it, that's a good thing. Um, he, 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 how he said the word atheism, this whole atheism, because there's been this already uh, a push to make sure that anybody mentions it, says that there's already a negative tone towards it, so you can dismiss it out of pocket with, completely, right? That's the whole idea, and this continued on. Again, about his tolerance, who are you? I was close to cussing. Who yeah. the F are you, bro? Why is it that your perception, your belief system is the basis for whether or not other folks are tolerable? Their belief systems are tolerable to yours. You're better yeah. than them? Is yours the basis for life? What makes you right? Again, it's a belief system, it's faith. That's the whole point. You're supposed to believe even though you can't really see it, you feel it, all that happens. But the thing is now is it's I don't tolerate it. So you're some kingmaker. You're the you're the the uh, the person who determines whether or not someone is reasonable or not. It goes to the superiority complex. I've said it before. Yeah. It's why so many white nationalists are always based off of well, God said so. God, 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 God said so because they still believe anyone else that doesn't believe what they believe are lesser than them. And you brought up Islam, so they're not atheists. Yeah. Do you believe them? 100%. <laughs> it's weird how this whole thing works. It's about people that are lesser than you. Their religion's lesser than you. People who don't believe it all are lesser than you. But who are you? Yeah, it's it's wanting, look, so much of the way people think is about desperately wanting a reason that they're superior. And some people cling to the melanin count of their skin as the reason they're mm -hmm. superior. Some people you know it's their it's their chromosomes or where they were born or you know if that's not good enough then just a thing you believe in i believe in this thing and so i am better than you um i can't necessarily speak for what sort of atheist i was at 19 or 20 i'm going to say insufferable but as of right now i largely don't care if you believe in religion i will take a good christian 
over a horrible atheist. And I'll also take a good atheist over a horrible Christian. I care about the end result of your belief or unbelief. Are you a moral person? And also, will you leave, leave me alone to do my own thing? Okay, if you feel you have to force something on me, then I'm not a fan of that. Whether it's evangelical Christianity or CrossFit, back up off of me, I'm good. <laughs> At the end of the day, you can have your beliefs, I get to have mine. I'm far more interested in how you interface with the world, whether it's religious beliefs that are informing you or just how your parents treated you. Anyway, people are saying it might have been Richard Dawkins that I was quoting there. I don't remember exactly. And Richard Dawkins has been kind of unfortunate the past couple of years, so I wish it was something else. But <laughs> in any way, donkey teeth bites. He's he's remembering the actual thing that I'm saying, and I don't know exactly what the wording was, but it's something like Tucker Carlson is an atheist a thousand times over. I'm just that plus one. That's it. He's an atheist about literally every other conception of God that has ever existed. You'll notice he doesn't believe in Odin. He's not a big fan of Jupiter. He doesn't like Ganesh. He doesn't believe in them. He doesn't find the arguments to be convincing, so he inherently understands how that process works. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Cast or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.